Hey guys, Zombie here. And another little vlog, I just wanted to kind of update you on another computer that I reformatted entirely from scratch. All because I was kind of in the mood and excited and did it anyways because I do that nowadays. <laughs> I'm, since I'm an IT guy, I'm used to installing operating systems quite often and setting up computers, so it's kind of just a habit for me. So whenever something doesn't work right now, I just kind of delete everything and reformat it, I guess. That's what I do at the school if something is so broken and just it's just not worth trying to go through piece by piece and figure out what happened if I have an exact copy of that operating system completely working or like an exact clone of that hard drive completely working from a fresh operating system install I'll just put that in and reset up it's fine sometimes it's easier just to clone a hard drive than enter the current license information later <laughs> it's easier but what I'm trying to do this time is or what I just did recently is since I reformatted my entire main uh, main computer for all my recording, all of my gameplays, everything, reformatted the entire system, deleted everything that was installed on there, everything except for my recording drive that has all the videos. So that was fine. My backup hard drive is fine. Everything else I deleted entirely. I reformatted those hard drives. My solid state, my Velociraptor uh, gaming hard drive. So those are fresh, new Windows 10, I got everything reinstalled, and it's great, it works fantastic, and I'm really happy about it. And then Humble Bundle had Sony Vegas 15, Sony Vegas Pro 15, in part of their bundle. So I just did that whole bundle, my wife was fantastic, and uh, she let me get that whole bundle, it was like $25, and I got, so I have Vegas Pro 15 now, I had 14 before, so that was awesome didn't have $200 to upgrade the license, so that's really nice of her to let me do that. So that's rendering a really, really long Dead, uh, Dead Rising 2 video that I'm trying to do in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So that's going to take a while. Because I'm getting the hang of 15, and I haven't figured out how to activate the CUDA cores yet. So it's taking a while because it's all processor. Anyways, besides that, besides that, that's not what this video is about. That's not what this video is about. You guys distracted me. That was you over there in the green shirt. I see you. Anyways, what we're going to talk about is what I did to my laptop. As you can see, that's not Windows. That is nowhere near Windows. What that is, is deep in Linux. Now, deep in Linux is a thing of beauty because it's really good, with, it's really nice and security based. It feels nice and secure. Um, I do hear it has some sp some spyware issues, but I'm not too worried about that because I'm pretty good at covering up tracks and all that and locking down my systems. I do it set for military time right now. I'll change that later. But it's a very small file, like a small space um, consuming operating system that works really, really well. It looks beautiful. It doesn't quite feel like Mac or Windows. It kind of feels like a mixture. It's a Debian-based operating system, Deepin. It's Debian-based, and it works really well. I love it. I mean, I I started doing a lot of Linux stuff back on like Red Hat, and then I did I tried Fedora. Uh, Ubuntu was a lot of fun. I did mess around with Ubuntu on several versions of their distro as it upgraded, and then more recently I really fell in love with Linux Mint because of how close to Windows it felt without having to be Windows. I do use Windows 10 on my main desktop but only because I have to. All the games work on it, and all the recording software and all the editing tools work on it. That's the only reason I'm still using it. If I didn't have to, I wouldn't use Windows ever again. I don't want to use Mac because I don't like Mac. I just don't. But my laptop, it was getting slower and slower, and I started doing more and more editing and programming, all that stuff on my desktop. So the laptop just started slowing down and not being as useful because it just got bogged down and I had so much stuff in there. So I backed up all my important files, I, re I formatted the entire hard drive, wiped it, and I'm like, I'm going to Linux this. Because I want it to be fast, furious, programming machine that I can do anything on if I want to. So I did. I put on uh, Deepin, that's D-E-E-P-I-N. It's a really cool little operating system, and even my Windows uh, shortcut keys still work on it. So just the Windows key opens up your thing. Um, I do have Steam installed on here, and I have GIMP. I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna look up different programs to put on. I only have the basic stuff installed right now. I really haven't delved deep into it yet, but I just checked this one out, and I really like it. It's cool. That's kind of what I'm putting onto one of our servers at work, and 
It's cool. I'm, I'm really excited to see what kind of features I can get out of it. I really want to see how I can configure the VPN on it. I really want to just have fun and mess around with a lot of different things. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to see what all the programming tools are like in this and see how good they are um, with catching errors, things like that. So, like with syntax errors and see if it tells me things. Anyways, back to the point. It's cool. It comes installed with a lot of good basics. As uh, all the basic Word and Excel processing programs that you would expect has Chrome installed by default, not Firefox. Some people like Firefox, I know, but I love Chrome because on Linux you can get Netflix to work and YouTube to work fine with Chrome, just natively out of the box. So I'm really happy I did this. I don't have any files saved in here at all. And it's basically just going to be for my programming, for um, any, I'm going to do all my work from uh, external hard drive. I don't want to save anything in here or bog it down in any way. I'm going to set it up where it just deletes all cookies and files every time you close a browser. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a very crisp, clean laptop that's not going to ever slow down. Because I have, I think, uh, 6 gigs of RAM in here and an i5 processor, so that's more than enough for Linux. I mean, it already runs faster than my Windows 10 ever did in this laptop. And... It's nice, I like it. This isn't exactly a gaming laptop. It wasn't. But now I think it could at least do some games, even with Linux, so Killing Floor works fine in it. But yeah, I'm really happy I pulled the trigger and just went ahead and installed this. If you really want, if you want me to give you a little tour of what the operating system feels like, what some of the differences are, let me know in the comments and I'm happy to show you some of the cool little differences. And this, this is a really cool little bar. I love the, I love the way it's set up down here. You also hide a lot of the major notifications if you really don't like them. It's nifty. Boop. Makes it shorter. But it just kind of works. I don't know, I like how it flows. You can also do different themes, like dark themes. But the big thing that really stuck out to me is the control center. It's all on the side. It's a side swipe out panel. You can go to accounts and you just keep scrolling down and scrolling down. You can get to every part of the controls. Or all the all the control panel and all the settings right from there and it just swipes back. I don't know, it was just nice to have it all in one place and it's really easy to go through and navigate. You can control everything. Even if you're dual booting with multiple operating systems, you can choose which one's the priority for your hard drive in this. I thought that was really cool. So that was just a nifty little feature. I wanted to share that with you guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you don't think. Tell me what you want to think. Which Linux distro is your favorite, or which operating system is your favorite, and why? I challenge you to tell me below in the comments, so let me know. Personally, I love Linux, and I'm starting to be a big fan of Debian because that feels cool. I hate Mac, and I do hate Windows even though I rely on it so much. Working in a school, I rely on Windows heavily. Because they won't let me switch it to anything else. I'm trying, but I have like 500 computers that have to switch. And I, I'm willing to do it if they would say yes. I told them that. I might even donate time. <laughs> but no. Seriously, it's a wonderful operating system. I'm happy I pulled the trigger and just did it. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Have a good one, guys. Bye.